Good evening, everybody. This is Pastor Laura here on your Saturday night with a sneak peek of tomorrow's worship service with our children's sermon. And I have here with me today my special guest. You may say hi to everyone. Hi. For our, our children's sermon. Now, as we begin every Sunday, we will begin by singing. What do I sing? Jesus loves me. Good idea. We're going to sing Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes. Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Good evening. How are you today? Good. Good. We just sang that Jesus loves me. And the cool truth is that Jesus loves everybody. And we're going to read a story today called Jesus Loves New Friends. And I'll show you the pictures, and I'll show everyone who is watching at home the pictures as well. Ready? Uh-huh. Okay. Jesus Loves New Friends. The world has many special ways to think and dress and speak. And Jesus knows those differences make each of us unique. Whenever people felt alone, Jesus went and found them. He knew they'd make amazing friends and loved to be around them. A woman from another land was visiting a well. She didn't have the same beliefs and everyone could tell. Zacchaeus had a job collecting money for the king. Most people didn't like the ones who did this sort of thing. Do you remember Zacchaeus? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But Jesus knew that deep inside he had a caring heart. Their friendship touched Zacchaeus and he made a brand new start. And I bet he became friends with that woman at the well too, didn't he? Yeah, absolutely. See, Jesus loves all kinds of friends, together having fun. We may not think or look alike, but in God, we are one. I love this story, and what if the hard things about this story is that everyone's really close together, aren't they? See, they're kind of sitting on Jesus' lap while he reads a story, and they're holding hands, and they're giving Jesus a hug. Are we able to do that with our friends right now? No. Right now, we have to stay home, right? But do you think that there are ways that we can reach out to our friends, even right now when we're stuck at home? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we share with our friends at home some of the ways that we can be a friend like Jesus with people who may be stuck at home. What did we do with the chalk the other day? Uh, draw. Yeah, we, draw, we drew encouraging messages on the sidewalk for people walking their dogs. Things that said, you got this, hang in there. And what else did you write? I love spring and when life's going well. Yep. And so we wrote encouraging words. And then there's other ideas, like we can FaceTime with our friends, like you did with who? Who are you FaceTiming with? Grandma, absolutely. So we can FaceTime, we can do chalk drawings. And at our church, did you know that we have a little food pantry? 
And so outside of our church by the Memorial Garden, there's a food pantry and we can put food in there for our neighbors. Things like canned goods and things that are in jars. And also we learned that our local food pantry um, at Shim really needs food. And so we can drop off food at Shim, go on their website, Google them and find out more. Oh, honey, Lent Club is kind of on pause right now. We're having Lent at home, but it is still Lent. And Lent is a time that we work on being closer to Jesus and being a good friend. And we can even do that at home right now. Right here? Nope, Jesus is not sick. Jesus does not have corona. Jesus is healthy and well, and he is watching over us. Can we pray about that? Um, yeah. Yes. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Dear Jesus, please watch over us, especially when we're stuck at home. Help us to be a good friend and find creative ways to take care of each other. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's wish everyone a good night.